Hello everyone. Um, if you're watching this, probably means that you rented this travel trailer from me. And I wanna do just a quick review of what is that you are getting into. Um, essentially, this is going to save us time when we do the, when you do the pickup and it'll also show you how to use all the different amenities that this thing has. So uh, I'll get started. I'll start on the front, work my way to the back. So right here, um, we have the, the hitch. Um, this is a manual crank, uh, 30 gallon or 30 pound. I'm not sure the, the way that they refer to those, but that's the, uh, the propane tank, which does come full, uh, the battery in here. And these are the weight distribution, um, uh, I don't know what to call them, hooks. <clears throat> this is essentially where the chain hooks on. There's a little tool that I provide you with and this you lift up. I can show you here. If we pull this out, um, the chain will go here. And then with this tool, you lift up and it's in place. And then we just put this little clip through except that shouldn't happen but yeah we'll put the clip through right here and then you're ready to tow um so that's the front your chains right here the disconnect in case you break away that's the thing um it automatically applies the brakes um what else do we have here you know there's another one of these on this side and that's as as far as the front goes that's all you really need to know this is one of the jacks there's one here there's another one on that side and then um i'll go around the other side so i can show you all the hookups but right here you're going to have storage um and then i do provide you with the key i always try to keep it locked and it is a pass-through storage so it goes from there all the way to the other side. I'll show you what that looks like. It goes to here, and then you can open it from here. Uh, it is sold already, so and I do provide you with a trickle charger panel. Uh, it's not meant to run the RV, it's simply meant to keep the battery charged. And you do have leveling bubbles right there, and another leveling bubble right here. And um, you can kind of see a little bit more of what the uh, the, uh, the unit looks like here. Um, this used to be a double step, um, and, but one of the, uh, the steps broke off and so I'm working on getting that fixed. But if you happen to rent it and you have a single step, that's how you bring it in. And then you just pull from here and it does come out. Um, that is the exhaust for the heater. We have two, uh, uh, 110 outlets right here um, the tires are pretty large uh, off-road tires this whole assembly is fiberglass so it's a pretty nifty uh, heavy-duty uh, all-terrain trailer that's the exhaust for the uh, the kitchen vent um, this right here is another storage and I do provide you with the key as well. Open it right here. You can kind of see. Um, keep it locked. And in there, uh, there's the wheel chocks that go uh, on your tires or behind your tires or the front, whichever way you, you want to use them. Um, in this little compartment, we have, I don't know if you can see in there. It's kind of hard to see. But there is um, the... Uh, um, the hose, the dump hose, so that you can empty both your gray and your black tanks. Uh, there's actually just a single gray and a single black. Um, this hitch adapter, it's worth noting that this thing is not meant to tow. Um, it's just simply, it says that somewhere around here, do not use for towing. Uh, this is essentially if you want to bring bikes or anything of that nature, uh, make it easier. You have your spare right there, and all the way up here, there's a backup camera. And then, let's go over here. Uh, this is the water heater area. 
nothing you really need to worry about just for you to know if you are boondocking and you are planning on uh filling up your tank this is where you would do that um there is and the reason the way to tell is there's no screw thing um so it's just a cap and uh, that's where you would insert your hose the one lower one right here that's a city water connection that does have the little screw thing right there and that's what you would use um if you're at a campground uh this is the uh table tv input um 30 amp you can see that right there 30 amp 110 125 volt connection um this is the exhaust area for the fridge and then we have a couple more little things up here like the ac and then this other ventilator right here um as we move down to here we're gonna see the uh area where you would dump so you essentially undo this make sure they're all in there uh and what i always do first is drain the black i mean they're color coded you know color on this is black the color in this is gray do the black first then do the gray because that'll essentially wash anything that gets potentially stuck there from the black tank um i do provide you i currently have it plugged in but i do provide you with a 30 amp uh, to 110 115 volt converter uh, adapter so if you want to take it home you're packing it you can still be running some things while you do those those uh, those things before you take off uh or when you return whichever um so that is essentially it for the outside and um there really isn't much else to the outside i will be going over the awning uh all your lights lights for the outside which you do have lighting strip up there i'm gonna go over all of that uh in the second video